Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to the channel. I just want to make a quick video for those of you who are doing your GCSEs and A-levels. Here's a bit of motivation and a bit of guidance as to how you can revise effectively until your exams begin in May slash June. I remember very well this sort of time period. Mid-February, I was beginning to get a bit anxious. Exams were in a few months time. Was I able to still relax and work at a, at a medium pace? Or was it time for me to ramp up the work and really work intensely? Hoping to share my experiences from having done 12, 13 subjects at GCSC to four A-levels at A-level. So, you know, this time period is critical and you have to work effectively to ensure that you at least get decent grades in your final exams. Before I continue, just want to say, people often say your GCSEs and A-levels don't matter that much. Now they say that once they have entered university, finished university or having begun a job. But ultimately when you're sitting at GCSEs, when you're sitting at A-levels slash IB, it is very important. Doing well at GCSE would allow you to get into a good sixth form or doing well at GCSE would allow you to get into a good university. It shows universities that from the age of 15, 16, that you have been working hard, that you're a committed person and that once you get into university, you are likely to also keep working hard. A-levels, well, your end of year exams in year 12 are pretty much one of the most important things that form your application to university. Having an A-star, A-star, A prediction compared to an A-star, A-A prediction can hugely change the, the universities that you can possibly apply to. So you have to be very, very careful when revising for these exams because they will have a big influence on your future. I'm saying this now because you have the opportunity to change your work ethic and to switch on and begin working. So you have the power still in your hands. So before it's too late, begin working. On this video, I just want to quickly share a few tips as to how you can work effectively. My mantra is past papers, past papers, past papers. You have to do past papers and as many of them as possible to ensure that you are very familiar with the way the exams will be testing your knowledge. Knowledge can be tested in a variety of exams, but as you all know, past papers test it in a particular way. By doing lots of past papers, you ultimately end up exposing yourself to the huge variety of different questions that they can ask you. Having done them once or maybe a few times, when they do come up in the exam, you'll be very comfortable with them. Secondly, it's active recall. You have to have the ability to pull together knowledge about a certain topic as soon as you see a question on that topic. How can you do that? Well, use resources such as Quizlet, Anki, even written flashcards. And those resources will allow you to produce these flashcards. You have a word, a definition, a topic, a list of different things linked to that topic. You go through them every morning. You memorize them, memorize them, memorize them. Every time you just flick through those flashcards, in your mind, you're forming stronger neuronal connections which will, in the exam, be super beneficial because you'll be able to recall these things so much faster and that will allow you to get the question done quicker but also cram in as much information as you can to ensure you get all the marks that you want to get. Now, lastly, I want to mention quickly note-taking. A lot of you have asked about it and it is quite a big issue. If you haven't yet begun writing really neat notes for your subjects, then I wouldn't recommend that you begin now. With two and a half months left, it's just not worth it. There are better things that you can do to gain marks with the time you have left. Find notes online, search for your course and subject, and I'm sure you can find some notes here and there. What I recommend you start doing is writing summary notes for every module, for every subject you have. Summary notes are meant to be very, very concise, just covering the main topics, the main definitions, the main diagrams. And what these summary notes help you do very well is really consolidate your general understanding and general knowledge of the whole subject you're taking. And this is very, very important because at GCSE and A-level, you're going to get far many more marks if you know the whole course generally than you are knowing half the course very, very well. That's, I think, simply from experience. And when I say that, you know, knowing the course generally, it doesn't mean you like using to know the subject headings and all. You need to have some sort of understanding of what's going on, because then you can at least get the one, two, three mark questions. But also out of the six mark questions, you might be able to get at least two or three marks. If you don't know 
half the course completely, then fine, you'll get the one, two, three, six mark questions, yes, for half the course, but then you're losing out massive, massive blocks of marks every time because you simply have no clue about what the question is asking. Begin your past papers, begin active recall, use flashcards to keep exposing yourself to the content, and also use summary notes. With summary notes, the best thing that I can recommend is read the summary notes once, then maybe after the second time you've read them, get a blank piece of paper and try and write out everything that you remember. Then pull out the summary notes and be like, right, what did I remember, what did I forget? Then over time, forcefully memorize these summary sheets, especially when it comes to things like C3, C4, or whatever they're called now for the new math syllabus, because having an understanding of, let's say, trigonometric identities and knowing them off by heart can make questions in the exam just so much easier to do and get through, which makes your exam experience a bit less stressful. And ultimately, if you're less stressed in the exam hall, then you're more likely to be a bit more focused, you're more likely to pick up on the small details, which is what you need to do to go from that B to A level or A to A star level. So guys, make sure you start revising now. I will be making a few more subject-based videos over the next few weeks. Do bear in mind, I also have exams coming up soon, so I will try my best to keep on top of things, but keep working hard, keep getting motivated, and just think about this. How amazing will it feel for you to open that results sheet in August and to see all those A's and A stars or eights and nines on your exams sheet. I can tell you guys, it's an amazing feeling and it really reminded me of every time my parents said work hard, my teachers said work hard, my tutors and mentors said work hard. When you open the results sheet and when you see those results, you just think to yourself, thank God I listened to all of them. Anyway, thank you so much for watching guys, keep smashing it and hopefully I will see you all in a video very soon. Bye-bye.